Hello and welcome. I'm Nafe42 and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to add a fan to the power supply unit. Okay, so I went online and picked up this little fan here. I say little, it's quite a big fan. Uh, from Cooler Master. It's a uh, standard fan, 80 millimeters. it says. Which is, uh, you know, <laughs> sounds like it is what it is. Um, and apparently with this unit here, this just kind of goes on top here. And it does. Wow, okay, yeah. So, I might have to uh, unscrew that slightly so I can push it down and then tighten it back up. And then I screw the fan onto the outside of it. I thought initially that you had to put the fan inside of it, but there is no way that that fan will sit in between that gap there. So, it's a bit of a shame. It would have been cooler if you could like in implement it inside of that. Uh, and maybe you could get something that would allow you to do that. But I suppose now you can kind of put this on there and then maybe put a cool fan shroud on top of it or something. And also this has a pretty cool thing going around it uh, with this, uh, this thing here. It looks pretty good. I know I said last time I'll try and clamp this into here. I haven't got around to that yet because this is literally like 10 minutes after that. So yeah, I'm trying to do this now. I'll put that onto there. So let's do that now, shall we? So luckily it came with four of these screws. They're pretty thick. Um, and I think they're actually like some kind of strange self-tapping screws. So we'll try these out and see how they go. Now I wasn't sure what way to put the fan on. Because uh, on the website it says to put it pulling the air out. So I'm going to do it pushing the air in. I'm going to go against what they say. Because uh, just kind of see how it goes. Um, this way. So I have this going here like that. Um, I was thinking I could probably try and get the wires going down this side here of the fan uh, of the actual uh, power supply unit. So I've got this like this so far um, and what I will try and do now, well what I would do now is actually screw the other few on or just one other screw in. Okay so there's two screws in there. Um, that doesn't sound very sturdy when you think about it, well when you say it. But it is actually very sturdy when I try and move it. Like you, you, you can't move the fan; it, it won't wiggle and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I will loosen the power supply, or the top of it anyway. Okay, so that's interesting. There's a little lip at the top, uh, which actually stops the uh, this thing from going all the way down, and that does seem to be so that you can get a brush of air across the top. Uh, and there's two, there's a vent on either side here with a little like lattice kind of grill. Uh, so you, because I think that the top plate of this I think is actually a heat sink. So it seems that they've done it for that reason, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's nice and tight now. Let's, uh, ooh. <laughs> I just touched the soldering iron. Luckily, it's cooled down in, in the time that it's taken for me to touch that. Luckily. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we'll spin this around a little bit now. Okay, now apparently with this power supply you can just uh, connect these to the same as the other two here, these two uh, crimped on ones, which is quite an interesting idea. Um, so I will actually try that. Okay, so I've just wired these two in directly to these two here. It's 12 volts. I'm pretty sure this is 12 volts. <laughs> so when I plug this in, um, it should not uh, not be dangerous at all and actually just kind of switch on. And the fan should start blowing. So we'll see. Uh, let me just pull this out so you can see this uh, as it starts up. Turn that around. So yeah, I'll switch this on. And it's spinning! Yay! That's always good, right? That's it, that's good. So yeah, it's blowing air in there. Uh, I can't feel any air around the outside. Maybe a tiny bit on this side, but it's not really that bad. 
Um, no real air underneath. I can feel air coming through there and through here, definitely through here. Um, so yeah, I think this is a bit of a success. Um, so that's good, it's blowing air into the unit and the air which is going into the unit will go across everything else, like all the chipboard and everything, and come out with the three main parts which will be here and up here, oh, which will be up here, up here and through here. I just have to move that so you can actually see a bit better. Um, this yellow cable isn't required. I think that's just a, like a sensor cable for if you're, it will tell you how fast it's going or whatever. I'm not sure if maybe you can make it go faster with that cable. But at the moment it's going at a, uh, a decent enough speed um, and I don't really care too much um, about adding too much more onto that. It's nice and cold actually, very cold down here. Hopefully it makes a difference. I'm not really sure if it does make a difference, like all in all, but I suppose we'll see in the future if uh, if this gets really hot and starts melting or something. <laughs> Which hopefully it won't do, because that would terrify the crap out of me. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, that's it pretty much. So don't forget to run subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at me 42 And... Thanks for watching.